And the first one is graphing linear equations. We cannot review this enough. I know we already did talk about it this year, but we'll review it again. Linear equations mean nothing more than when you graph something, you've got a line. We have two different forms when we talk about it. Usually, we either have what's called a standard form. And the other form is somebody out there for me? Slope intercept form. Okay. I believe the standard form, the generic form of that is AX plus BY equals C. And slope intercept form is uh, Y equals MX plus B. Okay, but this, anything in standard form just looks like this. 3x plus 2y equals, I don't know, 12. In standard form, both the x and the y are on one side, the number's all by itself on the other. Okay, in slope-intercept form, the y, it, it's solved for y, and you get something like negative 2 thirds x plus 1. Okay. They're just different forms. They're both going to give you straight lines, but you want to solve both of these a little differently. Okay. If it's in standard form, how do we, what's the easiest way to graph this? And don't tell me make a table because that's like the hardest way to graph it. When you see an equation in standard form, easiest way to graph it, Nikki? Cover up like the y. And we call that the x and y intercepts. And like Nikki said, you just do this, okay? To figure out where it crosses the x-axis, cover up the y term, solve it for x. What do I get of 3x? 3 times what number is 12? 4. 4. So on the x-axis, at 1, 2, 3, 4, you put a dot. Do the same thing for y, cover up the x. 2 times what number is 12, 6, so at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you put a dot, there is your graph of that line, piece of cake, done a thousand times before. The only time this gives us an issue, Jeremy, is what? When you have something that looks like this, um, 2x minus 2y equals 0. What's the problem with that? What is your x-intercept? And what's your y-intercept? Okay. And you have to, in order to make a line, you have to have more than one point. So in this case, when it's already zero, what you're going to have to do is just plot one other point. In other words, make yourself a small little table. Okay, let's just say x is 2. What will y be when x is 2? Well, let's see. You multiply 2 times 2, you get 4. Subtract the 4 to the other side. Negative 2y equals negative 4. So y is going to equal negative 2y equals negative 4, you get 2. So then you have this point right here as your second point, and you can graph this. Okay, this is the only exception when this won't give you something relatively. This one over here, if you remember, how do we solve that? You've got the slope and the y-intercept. The first thing you do, Lucas Espanol, is... I make my graph. The next thing I do is table. No, you don't do tables anymore. On a rare case, will you ever do a table? And this would be one of them. This one, this is a 30 second problem at, at the longest. The longest time it's going to take you is to put your ruler on the thing and draw the line. Nick Shanks, you? That last number is the y intercept. That's where it crosses the y axis right here at positive 1. How do I figure out the rest of my line from there, Jeremy Schwartz? Which is called the slope. And the top number is how far up. The bottom number is the over number. So from the point you already plotted, you're going to go up to over 3. Well, if I go up to over oops, 3, I can go either. Oh, wait, that's what I'm asking. I can go up to over 3 one way or the other. How do I know which one I go? Because, as you said, it's negative slope. So look at that. 
See, when you can start throwing that in there, I like that because you at least punish me. And you can do it more than once, by the way. Feel free to go up two over three from every point. Or down two, by the way, over three. And then you connect the dots. There's the graph of that line. The only special cases are on that are these. Same piece of paper. What if you get y equals 2 or x equals 3? What are the graphs of those? Well, the only thing you have to think about is this. No matter what x is, y is always going to be 2. So where is y always 2? Right here. I'm sorry. Where is y always 2? Right here. Right here, right here, right here. Y is always 2. If it's a y equation, it's going to be a horizontal line. If it's an x equation, x is always 3 at what point? 1, 2, 3. x is always 3 here. So an x equals equation is a vertical line. So those are your special cases when it comes to just x's and y's. How many times did you say we've probably done that? Perfect. Alright, a blank piece of paper? That's one lesson.